finding trading setups with horizontal channels. Hi, this is David Modell looking at the markets. Today I want to tell you uh, what horizontal channels are, why I like them so much, how you can draw them on your own chart, and also some tips on how you can hopefully potentially profit by using horizontal channels. So first I want to uh, give you a word from our sponsor, so please watch this and then we'll come back and talk about horizontal channels. What you're looking at right now is an open marketplace for trading strategies. It's called alphainsider.com. Link is in the description below this video. You know you want to go there, especially if you want to improve your results potentially by following some of the best traders out there. And a lot of people talk about amazing results, but these are confirmed right on the website, the track record, the one year, five year, one month results percentage wise. Are you getting these kinds of gains, hundreds of percentage points or even in the thousands? Thousands, if not, or even if you are, you can improve drastically potentially by following some of the best out there. And you can browse through so many different strategies, just dozens and dozens of them. And it just keeps going. And you can pick and choose the best ones that you like, and you can see the track records right there. It's not talk, it is really happening in real time. And it's available on the App Store and in Google Play. You can follow performance proven trading strategies, track performance positions and trades, instant notifications on trades and activity search, filter, and compare strategies, and compete to be the best trader, but you have to sign up on alphainsider.com. Let's take a look at a couple right now. Here's Ethereum equals Moon. Uh, this is a crypto trader, as you can see, and the performance is really impressive. And if you go and sign up, you'll be able to see the positions, the timeline, see what's going down. Here's the breakdown, okay? And then you could potentially follow and improve your trading by following this person. Here's another one, Oil Baby see the performance there's the chart really impressive performance there amazing track record you can see again the positions the timeline and what's going on in detail with this trader it's like an inside look into what some of the best are doing how do you start you sign up at alphainsider.com. I put a link in the description below this video. Click or tap on that to make it much easier for you. Why not sign up and give it a try? I highly recommend alphainsider.com. So if you're going to use horizontal channels, uh, you want to know what they are, first of all. Really, it's just two parallel lines make a channel. Okay, A wedge is when the lines are not parallel. Uh, but if the two lines, and this is a support line and a resistance line, if they're parallel to each other, you've got a channel. It's as simple as that. So when is it horizontal? Well, as you can see in this example from Merck or MRK stock, uh, when the two horizontal lines, and that's a channel, uh, when they're going from left to right without going up or down at all, then that is horizontal. A horizontal channel, simple as that, okay? And I want you to start looking for them, and you can draw your support level when you find that the stock, or whatever it is, could be cryptocurrency, uh, commodities, whatever, uh, when you find that it tends to come down to a certain level, certain price level, but not go below it, or not go below it very much. You know, it's not an exact science all the time, okay? There can be some leeway, some wiggle room. When it doesn't go very far below a certain level, that could be your support. And you could draw a line there, uh, a line that goes from left to right without going up or down, okay? So it's horizontal. Uh, then, if you notice that the price doesn't go above a certain level very much or for very long, that could be your resistance level. And if that uh, line that you draw can be parallel, if that uh, resistance level can be parallel to your support level, guess what? You've got a horizontal channel. It really is not very hard to do, but you have to look for it, okay? And so when a price is trending up strongly, like in this example in Merck stock, or when it's trending down strongly, you probably don't have really the makings of a horizontal channel. You want to see range-bound trading. It stays within a certain range. Uh, so you draw your two lines when you find them. Now you're not, you're not chasing, you're not uh, looking desperately for horizontal channels, okay? You want it to form naturally and then you just draw your lines. If there's no horizontal channel, don't try to force it. Don't draw your lines 
uh, if it's not really something that's there naturally in the candles. Okay, so I'm using Trading View, by the way, okay, in case you want to know how to do this. Uh, and you just go to the draw tools on the left side of the screen and you draw your lines, okay? And it's interpretive. People will draw different lines in different places. So these are some tips already. Now here's another tip. You want to pay attention to the price action before the range bound horizontal price action, okay? Was it going up before the horizontal channel or was it going down? before the horizontal channel. If it was going up before the channel started, horizontal channel started, then oftentimes people will think, ah, as soon as you get a break above and a close above especially, then it might go higher. Not always, there are no guarantees here at all, okay? Anything could happen and will happen. All right, this does not work all the time. But if you had upward price action and then consolidation as they say, right? Uh, with a horizontal channel range bound, then maybe when there's a break above and a close above with a candle, then you might get a continuation from what was happening before the horizontal channel. It may keep going up if it was going up before the channel, or maybe not. You know, some people look at it differently, all right? Some people uh, look and say, hey, it went up before and now it's exhaustion, right? It's, uh, you know, the buyers are exhausted here with the horizontal channel and maybe it's gonna go down afterwards because they're kind of exhausted. Others would say, oh, well, it's just consolidating for the next leg up, all right? So it's up to you to decide how to interpret it. You can use other indicators with this not just drawing your channels, and that's perfectly fine, okay? Uh, so let's look at some other examples to show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna look at Netflix stock next, and I type that in, in into the TradingView platform here. And all right, so Netflix, here we go. Look at that, range-bound price action. So I drew the horizontal channel with a support line here because the price action didn't wanna seem to go uh, for very long, very far, uh, down below this level here. So I drew my support level and I noticed that there was a horizontal resistance level I could draw here. Bam, you've got a horizontal channel. Simple as that, okay? And I noticed that the price action was, well, it was kind of going all over the place, really. This was a tough one, but it was kind of going up beforehand and then it settled into a channel. And then what happened afterwards? Well, as soon as you had a break and a close, a strong close above, uh, that channel there, it did go up afterwards, okay? You can also add a volume. I didn't did not add it here, but you can add volume bars or some sort of volume indicator just to make sure that when the break above happens that it's not some sort of head fake, okay? You, I mean, you cannot make sure with a guarantee, but it can give you extra confidence if the break above and the close above happen with strong volume. That's a nice uh, little addition to give you more confidence in the move, okay? But again, no guarantees here, all right? Uh, let's look at a couple more examples. Uh, there's AA, Alcoa stock. And let's see if we could find one. Uh-oh, there we go, all right? Generally trending down, horizontal tight price action with the range trading, and then down afterwards. When it broke, not above, but in this case, a very strong close, break and close below that channel there. I think you're starting to get the idea by now, right? Okay, doesn't have to be with stocks. Let's uh, take GDXJ. This is a junior gold miners fund here. And this is an interesting one. You had down, 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 and then I drew a horizontal channel here because I saw what was happening. I saw the price action, the candles didn't want to go above this level, didn't want to go below that level for very long. I mean, the you know the wicks, the shadows of the candles did, but not for very long. Within the same candle, came back up. All right, so this seemed to be the floor, this seemed to be the ceiling for a while, and it was bouncing, bouncing, and broke above, okay? So I thought, you know, if it breaks and closes strongly, uh, especially with heavy volume, if you want to check the volume, but I thought to myself, if it broke below and closed below strongly with a, a red candle, then it might continue this downward bearish price action. But look what happened though, okay? You have to react to not what you think is going to happen so much as what actually did happen, okay? And it broke clearly above that horizontal uh, channel there and it kept going up, didn't it? And it could keep going up. Who knows what's going to happen? 
but this is looking so far bullish to me. All right, seems to be a breakout type of uh, price action here. All right. Also, it seems to me that here's another tip: the longer the channel, you know the old saying, the longer the base, the higher in space, right? And that's if you get a breakout after a really long uh, horizontal channel. So the longer it is, that more tension is building up, and if it does break out, it could be very powerful. Or if it does break down, that could be powerful to the downside as well. So these are some tips for horizontal price uh, channels. I went kind of fast here to give you as much uh, content as possible, all right? But consider adding this to your arsenal of uh, price action trading uh, tips and ideas here and you want to start looking for these again don't force it if it's not there don't be drawing lines where something isn't there okay uh, but when you see them then maybe look for that breakout or breakdown the close above or close below maybe add the volume bars to your chart and look at what happened beforehand that could possibly guide you in order to know what to look for the most but on the other hand don't force it whatever happened if it broke above strongly you got to go with that okay uh, if it broke below strongly that's what you got to trade you're not trading what you think ought to have happened you're trading what actually did happen all right so I'm gonna keep on bringing you these ideas for your trading so you can add to your toolbox and hopefully potentially become a better trader all right so I want to thank you for watching and listening my name is David Modell more videos are coming soon